Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. Today is gonna be a pretty big episode because I expect at the end of this episode to be making this right here, the Vault Altar. We are going today to the end, we're gonna defeat the Ender Dragon and we're gonna go and get these purple blocks and hopefully also an Elytra because you know, it's nice to have wings. And then finally we will be able to make the Vault Altar. So that is the mission for today, but first I need to do a tiny bit of preparation work. One thing I did do off camera is I added Unbreaking 3 to all of these tools right here, so I can pretty much replace all of my old iron ones, and I'm just gonna put them in there. There we go. So now we have Unbreaking 3 on all of our other tools right here. I'm waiting for these guys to be able to accept trades again, because... Yeah, I need more emeralds, but that can wait. I only need one more, two more things before we can head off to find the stronghold. I don't exactly have a bow and arrow, so I need a way to be able to take out those towers and these snowballs are gonna be the way. The next thing I need is probably something that I'll need to get on the run because what I need are beds. As I really don't have any weapon with sharpness or anything, it's gonna be taking a while for me to kill the dragon, but not if I go ahead and use the bed method. That is, if I don't die to me trying to use the bed method. So we're gonna sleep and then we're gonna head off into the distance, well, wherever the eyes of Ender leads us to, but I just want to check, yep, you guys have not reset yet. All right, off we go then. All right, shooting out an eye, there we go. All right, in this direction and it gave it back, perfect. Now, I have no idea how far away this is, but I've explored all the way over here, so there's a good chance we have actually already been there. Let's see if it goes beyond what we have already discovered, or if I've actually been on top of it before. We shall see. Now this is what I will be looking for. Sheep to shear, because I want as many beds as possible. Now one thing that I will also be looking for when we look for the stronghold, or the portal room I should say, is the library, because I will be able to get a lot of books in there which is something that I do need for getting uh, more enchanted books when trading with villagers. All right, let's shoot another eye offender. All right, still this direction. Please don't break. Good. More sheep has been spotted. Perfect. All right, it looks like we will be crossing some water, but I cannot see the stronghold anywhere here. Now, it could, of course, be under this, but it would be cool if it poked out somewhere. That would be a very easy way of finding it and also a very easy way of access. But let's see. Yep, still in that direction. Wait, it just went down. Wait, or did it go up? It, it looked like it went down, didn't it? Oh, it went up. But it did just change course, though. I think it's going to be in this spruce biome over here. That's just what I think, but let's see. Let's shoot another pearl up. Yeah, it's going in this direction. We're getting very close now. So far, none of them has broken. All right, watch. It's going to go back. <laughs> I told you. Ah, that it broke. Okay, yep. Right when I said it. Wait, maybe in the lake? Now it's going back. And it broke. Okay. It's going down. It's going down. It's right here. Right here somewhere now. Is that gonna... Yep, there we go. Phew! Okay, we still have 12. Very, very good. I'm not gonna worry about making the beds or anything right now. Right now, I just wanna make the tunnel down to the stronghold so we can find it. All right, here we go. Going down. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The stronghold. Right there. Okay. Now all I need... Yep, I spy indeed. I'm gonna put here stronghold. Dark red? Now it's gotta be golden. Right, let's secure this room to begin with. And I just realized I can use the minimap to see the portal room. It's right nearby. Sick. And we have an ender pearl, some gold ingot, mana steel. That's interesting. These ender pearls will actually come in handy if we fall or need to go somewhere. Oh, that's the library on the, on the left over there. But first, let's break this, and let's quickly get rid of the spawner. There we go. We have found the portal room, ladies and gentlemen. That was actually pretty quick. All right, let's take a look at this library. Yes. All right, I will actually grab the string, because I do not have a whole lot of that. And there's a chest, let's see what we've got. Ooh, 
Ancient Tome, plus one punch, plus one loyalty. Stasis and channeling, not really that interesting. But the main treasure here for me are the old, old bookshelves, because I can break those and get all the books. Bane of Arthropods, plus one level of sharpness, that's pretty cool. So this basically means that if I have a sharpness three diamond sword, I can use this and it will get it to sharpness four, which is pretty cool. You know what, I'm not gonna bother with taking the books right now, because after we have de defeated the Ender Dragon, we will be able to get back here. We will spawn back here uh, because I'm going to set our spawn using a bed. Go ahead and remove this lava right here because we do not trust it. Make a bed and place it down and respawn and also sleep. Not respawn. Set my spawn point. Mm. Also going to go ahead and make a spruce chest and in here I'm going to put all the stuff that I don't need, so all the stuff like this. All right, I'm going to be making 10 beds. Okay, that should do the trick. Okay, my spawn is set. Everything is good. Let's just get this show on the road. I'm also making sure that I have dash selected. So if I fall down, I can dash forward right before I hit the ground and hopefully negate the fall damage. We shall see. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Do I have everything? Let's head on through. Here we go. Okay, we spawn in a cube. That's pretty good. Looks like the center of the island is in this direction. All right, here we are. Pretty close to the ledge. So let's move in towards the center here. What's this? Dimensional shadow. You know what? I should not get distracted. That is. Oh, I didn't get any glass bottles for that. Okay, yeah. As you can see, these snowballs work perfectly. Assuming I can aim them high enough. Oh, he's shooting again. Right, I think I will have to try and get these lower ones first. I don't think I've ever tried using snowballs before. I don't know if I can hit. I don't think they can hit all the way up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I got that one. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. My thoughts are, if I get high ground, I should be able to reach some of them. <laughs> Maybe. I got that one. Got that one. Ha. Huh. You miss. Just gotta take this nice and easy. There's no rush. Oh boy. Haha. <laughs> okay. Whew. Whoa. Oh. Well, that was kind of convenient. Shoot that. Yeah. Run over. Shoot this one. Aha. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Oh boy. Ooh. That almost got me. Okay, this one is taken out as well. Okay, it's just those two. Can I reach this one from down here? Oh, I did. Oh, I did. And get it. That was the final crystal. Now comes for the hard part of taking care of it while it's perched. And I don't know if I'll be able to do this properly. <laughs> if I place this right under the head and do it from here, I should be good. There we go, there we go, 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 go. Okay, where's the head gonna be? Right there, I think. Okay. We did that one. Back. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Ow. Okay, we got it to have health. We got it to have health. I still have six beds remaining. We can do this. Perch one more time, which it is now. Oh no, this guy looked at me. Well, I looked at him. Interrupting. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm wasting beds here. I only have two beds left. I messed that up. A lot. I don't know why that bed placed next to the other bed. That didn't make sense. <laughs> oh, it flew off. It flew off. That was it. That it flew off, but that was a critical hit. It's perching again. This is it. This is a moment. Ow! Come on. This is it. We got it. Ooh -wee. Okay. 
That was really not too bad. Did my did my XP get burned? I think my XP just got burned. Or maybe it went through. I'm not quite sure. We should spawn back at the... Yep. Okay, no XP. I'm sad. What we need to look at now is the end gateway, wherever it spawned. And of course the dragon egg, which I suppose I should grab with me right off the bat. Torch. Boop. Dragon egg. Now what would be very, very awesome, I'm actually gonna vein mine. Uh, vein miner two. I'm gonna vein mine some of these. So I have some bridging blocks. This is gonna improve the bridging experience a lot. But like I was saying, what would be very nice is if there would be a an end city right next to this thing. I guess we will have to see when we get through. First, I need to make a staircase. There we go. This should do it. And an ender pearl. Remote gateway. Ooh, that looks like a fancy crystal. Now I could get these because if I remember correctly. You can smelt these, and you get popped chorus fruit, and then you can use those to get the purple blocks. Which is what we need, so I'm gonna take a few of these. So I could technically leave right now, but I want Elytra. Elytra, it's a must. So, no end city, it seems, in this area, but I'm just gonna keep walking, explore a little bit, see what we can find, and maybe there will be one nearby. What is this? Myolite. Hmm. I will probably come back for that. I don't really want to clutter my inventory with a bunch of stuff. Another thing that we need from end cities will be shulker boxes because we need storage when we head into the vaults. That dragon fight was actually fairly easy. I'm quite happy how it went. Before I get lost, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a waypoint. I'm gonna call it home gateway. That way I can always find back to that one specific gateway when I need to head out if I don't find another one. I don't fancy climbing that, no thank you. Ooh, look at this, we got a waystone here, which I'm gonna snatch up because those are expensive to make. I think I have, yeah, I think I have three now. Huh, I didn't know you could find them in the end either. That's pretty cool, cause again, they're expensive. So yeah, definitely gonna grab that if I find it. All right, I have done quite a lot of traveling. But I have finally found an end city which has an end ship, which is exactly what we want. Now let me show you the map, the little adventure that I've been on. Well, quote unquote little. This is everything that I have traveled. This is where we started. And as you can see, this is pretty much my route. <laughs> it took a little bit to get here, but finally we have found an end city. I'm also going to see something because if I'm not mistaken, I actually want to kind of get hit. Yeah, that's a, that's an effect. We can actually do something. I'm going to do something. I'm going to jump away over here, actually. And we are going to use our final skill point today. Those two are just fighting with each other, so that's fine. If we go into, I believe, yep, yeah, abilities, we have this right here, cleanse. Clear any negative effects affecting the player. Cooldown is reduced by levels in cleanse. Now, I'm not sure if this counts for the levitation that Shulkers give us, but we will be wanting this for when we go start for when we start looting the vaults anyway. So I'm just gonna loot it now, because if I can remove the levitation effect, that is gonna make this a whole lot easier. Again, we need this when we start uh, looting the vaults anyway. So let's just test if this actually works. So if I get hit real quick, come on. Yeah, that's it. It does work. Sweet, so there's a cooldown obviously. Oh, so I can't use it right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that is going to make life a whole lot easier. So that is really, really good. All right, I'm gonna get rid of you. And that's our first Shulker shell right here. Oh yeah, I found another waystone, by the way. So far, not much activity, which is good. <laughs> we like, oh no. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kill the, the ones that I can. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, that works too. Yeah, yeah, this is... I'm gonna use this as an, as an elevator. Anyway. Just gonna get rid of that effect now. There we go, that's another... No! I want that. 
Oh yeah, this effect is really, really handy in here. Not bad. Now, will I have to parkour all the way up here? I could pillar it, but you know what? I'm gonna attempt this. I don't think I've ever come... Never mind, you ruined it. Okay, let's just get to the top here. Let's get to the top. Let's get to the top. Ooh, we have some purple chests here. That's really, really cool. Actually gotta... Ow. No. I'm actually gonna... Do this. Oh boy. Ow. <laughs> that was not worth it. Okay, I think this is clear. Let's take a look in the chest. What do we got? Ooh, diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Really good. Diamond chest plate. I'll take it. What do we have here? Sharpness 3 iron sword. More diamond armor. With mending on this one, except it has curse of binding, which is not so nice. Gold is really good. Um, okay, that's great. What do we have up here? Mm, well, we have you, which I'm not happy about. Actually, now I am happy. <laughs> Alrighty, let's drop down here. Let's take care of this guy. You know what? The iron sword with sharpness stream might actually make this job a little bit quicker. Yeah, actually, I feel like that was better than the diamond sword. Alright, here we go. Another one of these. It's always fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, well, there we go. Right, let me clear this room real quick. Alright, we are clear. Let's see what we got here. More gold, really good. I'll take the horse armor for sure. That's a pretty good iron shovel. I didn't have one actually. Sharpness 2, fire protection. Yeah, this iron stuff. Not really worth it, I don't think. Alright, we got two rooms left. This one, and then we have this final ship over there, which I'm really excited for. And we even have a and we even have an enter chest here. But I don't have my so I don't have a silk touch pickaxe yet. Huh. Well, I guess I could take the obsidian. Alright, let's see what's in this final chest and some more gold and a diamond shovel. I'll take it. Now we just have the ship remaining, finally. I could probably end the pearl over there. Can I end the pearl? I think I can end the pearl. Let me just equip the dash just in case. <laughs> and oh yeah, nailed it, nailed it. All right, let's enter the ship. Ooh, these are huge. Those right there are going to be huge because these are the ones that we need to make using golden apples so when we can find them just like this that is really really good all right let's raid this room where the elytra is located you're gone i think we're good there it is our wings the elytra finally <laughs> and what do we have here got some iron some gold iron horse armor definitely fortune three and an iron shovel I'll take it. Ooh, emeralds, efficiency four, diamond pickaxe. Yeah, you know what, I'll say, okay, my inventory is starting to get a little bit cluttered. I don't think I need anything else though. Right, I think that is that. I think we're done here, guys. So we got 13 shulker shells out of this actually, that's not bad at all. Now the final thing that I do really quickly wanna get before we leave is the head right here. Do I have space in my inventory to grab it? I do indeed. Boom. So now what I should be able to do is with dash equipped and my wings equipped. I know I don't have any enchantments on them so far yet. But what I can then do, watch this. Let's say I land real quick. Just like that. <laughs> Fireworks are... Pretty much not needed anymore. Obviously, there's a 10 uh, second cooldown, which I do need to work with. But yeah, pretty good. And there is the gateway, our way home. The final thing I just need now is an ender pearl to get home. Easy enough. And away we go. Nice. And with that, through the portal we go. And we're back here. All right, sweet. What I think I'm now going to do is I'm going to maybe leave... Oh dear, I have all this stuff as well. Yikes. Right, I'm going to go through my inventory because I also want to grab a bunch of books from the library. So I'm going to go through my inventory, get prepared, then I'm going to head home and I'll meet you back at base. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, I have made it home, and of course, making a shulker box was the way to get everything with me. So here it is, everything, all the loot from our trip to the end. 
uh, as well as some books and whatnot. I grabbed three stacks of books and we have a zombie pigman neighbor who's somewhere around here. Anyway, but yeah, this is all our loot. Now I have done a little bit of work off camera and that is pretty much extending the villager area. So before we only had like this bit right here, I've extended to this wall as well. And then I've moved the wall over a little bit. And then we also have space on this side of the wall right here, which I think is going to work perfect. Because the next thing that I really quickly want to do is grab some emeralds and I'm going to grab a book and we're gonna head on over to the Unbreaking Villager, which is this guy. And I'm gonna buy an Unbreaking 3 book, grab that experience, and then I'm gonna put this Unbreaking 3 book on this Elytra for just three levels. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these Chorus Roots right here, I'm gonna put them in there, and I'm gonna set them to smelt while we go and hunt for another village, because I think I didn't find the village that is supposedly down here. We found this sign over here and it said a thousand blocks and I don't think I traveled a thousand blocks. I think there's a village down here in this area and I would like to go and check that out. So I'm just gonna grab a few more torches, a few more things. I think I have everything actually. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Not only did we get a normal golden apple, which is three healing potions right there, but we also got an enchanted golden apple, which I don't know if we can use for anything, but... That in of itself, that's pretty good. I found it. I finally found it. I was just a little bit off course. I was searching over here. It was actually right here all along. Hey, buddy, snatch. <laughs> this is why we're here, kinda. I'm not gonna take all of them. Um, and I believe that this is pretty much like a shulker box. Yep, I'll grab that with me. Ooh, that's another one. So an interesting thing about this village, it doesn't look like a lot of them has jobs. The only one that has a job is the blacksmith and I just plopped down that composter right there so that guy could get a job. Um, but other than that, yeah, they don't really have jobs in this village, which is kind of interesting. But I've taken six, that should be pretty good for now. I can come back for more. I don't want to waste any more time with this. Let us go back home and finally craft this vault altar. And home sweet home. Can I land in? I can even land in the house. Sweet. I can now put down three, four and more electrons, sorry. And these villagers should be able to grab a job pretty quickly. Yep. Perfect. And then I can get two more farmers that I can trade carrots and potatoes with. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Now I could go through all these books, but I think I'm going to do that off camera because it is not super important for the thing that we need to do next. The next thing we need to do is make this vault altar and I should have enough popped chorus fruit here to make the purple blocks that we need. I actually didn't need that much. Wow. Next thing we need is four obsidian and a block of diamond. Should have the four obsidian here and we might as well use the diamonds that we got from the end city to use in this recipe. So let's get a diamond block right here, put the obsidian like so, and the purple blocks like that. And just like that, we now have the vault altar. Now, where am I gonna place this? I will be upgrading this part of the base and also probably the ceiling between this and the next episode. I don't really wanna put it in here. Um, hmm, I think I'd like to have it centered. Yeah, centered like that in the base, I love it. All right, now what do we use this vault altar for? We actually need to now go ahead and head into the mine. Oh yeah, I need I need mending on that so I can repair it. We need to go into the mine and we need to mine up all of the vault rock ores that I found while mining. So let's jump all the way down to my mine. And if I press this button, you can see all the waypoints saying V, and those are the vault rocks, as you can see right there. That's the first one we are going to go to, and this is it right here. So I have 423 right here, which is really what you want to get uh, before you mine these up. So I've been waiting uh, until this very moment. So here we go, our very first vault rock ore mined up. Let's go. And we got, I believe, one. One. So this we then use in the vault altar, but first I want to mine up all of these so we can see how many we have in total. Here's another one. And we got four that time. That's really good. And it looks like we have another one up ahead here. Yep, here's the other one. 
We got four out of that one. That's really good. So, so far we have nine vault rocks and we haven't even broken half of them. I don't know what that is, but I, I, I'm not going to find out. Oh, here's the next one. And this is then the final one. I'm going to guess that we're going to end up with 21. 21. <laughs> There we go. So we have 21 vault rocks in total. This is really good. This is going to last us for quite a while. So now let us head back home and use one of these vault rocks in the vault altar and see the recipe that we need to do in order to get our very first vault crystal. And let us see the recipe that we get. So just right click it and let's see. What did we get? 12 charcoal, 19 snowballs, one saddle, this is why I take the saddles and the horse armor, and 35 gravel. This is a very easy recipe for us to do to get our very first vault crystal. You are probably going to hate me for this, but I'm going to call it an episode right here. So in the next episode, we will be doing this recipe and we will be running our very first vault. In between episodes, I'm going to set up some villages because I want a sub touch pickaxe. I also want a mending book and maybe a few other things as well. So I'll do all that in between episodes, get ready. And then in the next episode, we will start off by getting all the stuff required for this vault crystal. Now I guess I should explain that the recipes for these vault crystals keep increasing in uh, difficulty and also requirements. So more and more items and also more and more difficult items are going to be added to the recipe. So that is how that works. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you do, consider subscribing and enabling those notifications. But that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.